so classes this is where it gets interesting so let's make a new class so you go to your classes either that way by create a class or if you click up here i've got loads of classes set up there already and i just scroll down create a new class and just like creating a new group it works very much in the same way so come up with uh, an example this class is to review the importance of blah blah blah, 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 blah. Uh, obviously that's all in american uh, and i don't understand the american system so i'm just going to put none uh, and there we go if it's on science i can go science uh, chemistry change color got to be purple because purple's the best color create it has a little bit of a thing now add the students once you make your class you have the ability to add the students so you can get to it that way straight away clicking add students or we can do it a slightly different way now here um, is the ability for you to type in each student's name and their email address and the name and the email address and then you scroll all the way to the bottom and you press add student that's pants um, the only time I've ever used that was once my previous school when I had something like 10 kids in a class. So I made their accounts for them. True story. Um, I made their passwords their um, birthday because I thought, you know, they'll all know their birthday. Eight of them didn't know their birthdays. So I don't like adding students that way. So there are other ways to add them. So one way of doing it is just getting that code copying that into your email and say students go to www.edmodo.com type in this code get on however down here if you click download the handout it actually makes the handout with a few simple instructions for how they uh, set up their account it also has a bit that's mentioning parents here we go so that's a really nice little document which then you can save that to your area go to your uh, school email address and then just click year nine students year 10 students you know you don't have to individually put them all in there um now that does depend on them following the instructions and actually getting themselves logged on can you do a bulk class upload in theory yes so in theory if you go here invite by email uh, and then you can copy and paste from, let's say, uh, Excel to there. Um, but then you've got to separate each one with a comma. And from what I've seen, it's a bit iffy. Sometimes um, email addresses have already got this set up as a kind of a junk thing. So it won't let that email go through. So in theory, it's possible um, to do a bulk class upload. I wouldn't bother. Uh, what I do is I share the class code uh, and then get the kids to double, well, get my staff. So as head of chemistry, what I've done is I've said to all my uh, teachers, can you check that your class list is right? Uh, and if it's not right, if there are people missing, uh, please just email them and maybe CC and their parents to get them going with it. 